I'd like to explain more about why open-ended projects are good for engineering students. And that can be really summed up in that life cannot be stun understood by solving n equations and n unknowns. Uh, life is dynamic and, in general, predictable only for short amounts of time. And you can just look at the stock market for a real-world example. Design is the art of using math and science to create a solution to a problem for a specific cost, time, and other considerations such as safety. And I believe that design cannot really be taught, but what I can do is set up an environment in which students who are learning design are encouraged, supported, mentored, and allowed to try new things, even if they do not work. And I think something helpful is to have an early success. And hopefully I can mentor you to, to that early success. Another reason why I want you to learn how to solve open-ended problems is it prevents the learning environment be from becoming artificial. And I even read a paper by a faculty teaching a course similar to EE98 where the whole thesis of the paper was that you could remove the physics from teaching a circuit course and keep it pure math. And that is about as artificial environment as one could have. Um, as we'll see in other examples, it's the limitations and, and of the real world that actually allow us to solve problems. And it might sound a little counterintuitive, but you'll see. And recently, Google, um, and I'll just read this out. Another reason that I think academic environments are artificial environments. People who succeed there are sort of finely trained. They're conditioned to succeed in that environment. One of my own frustrations when I was in college and grad school is that if you knew the professor was looking for a specific answer, you could figure that out. But it's much more interesting to solve problems where there isn't an obvious answer. You want people who like figuring out stuff where there is no obvious answer. And so what this person is saying, and it sounds like they were successful in academics and meaning uh, success designed is getting high grades, but he said it was kind of fake. If you could kind of get inside the professor's head, you'd be able to do well on the exam. Well, I'm here, um, I'm here to say is that in the real world or in your job, there is no professor's head to get inside of. Um, and you will just, you'll be trying to get something to meet a certain specification. All right. If you want to read that article more in detail, the link is at the bottom of the page. All right. And I was talking to Mark Thorne from Linear Technology on hiring. And I'll just read his quote. One of our favorite interview questions is, have you built anything that works? We like to hire people who like to fix cars or have a love of doing projects. And then he went on to say, I guess you can't teach that in school. At which point, I jumped up and shouted, it can be taught. And if I assign you and we create open-ended problems and I give you the students to create and I help you achieve your goals, we can make everybody desirable to local industry for hire. And normally I like to try to show a positive example, but I have to criticize uh, how some things are done and especially since you're in your second year you might be losing a little bit of faith as to why you are in engineering at all. I've read a lot of what st students um, got them originally into engineering and it was usually doing something physically touching doing making and sometimes we haven't done that and so if football was taught the same way engineering is taught your first year you'd have ball physics and geometry of the field second year rules of football or the history of football and so you have to be careful EE 98 can become one of the rules of football like classes it's my goal to make sure that doesn't happen 
And then as we go on in your fourth year, you'll finally play a game of soccer or uh, football. So this is exactly what I don't want to happen in EE98. And so if you feel it's getting like this, just email me or come to my office and let me know so that we can keep things concrete.